So this is attempting to start the Brave Log Splitter SR22. There is gas in the tank as you can see. Clean fresh gas. And I'm going to check the oil. Make sure we have oil in here. And you can see that there's oil at least up to the mark. So we have oil. And if you come over here to this side, I'm going to show we're going to go from run to choke and off and it's on. So it's on choke and it's on on. Now I'm going to try to start it. Okay. So it's on on and the choke is on. So it should, should start. Oh. So we have nothing, so I'm going to push the choke up just a little bit, just to click. So we just uncovered it. There's the tarp over there. So that tarp was on top of this machine for the past couple weeks. We tried to start like literally two weeks ago, and it wouldn't start. And see all the pieces of small wood over there? We put those pieces of small wood on top of the tarp so the tarp wouldn't blow away, and it's been dry for like two weeks. So there's no reason why it shouldn't start. It's been dry, and it's been covered. So I just moved the choke up from choke just to the very first spot. We'll try that. Okay, so nothing. This is a Briggs and Stratton engine. Brand new lock splitter. Started the first time we used it. Cost $1,500. We used it just a little bit. Cannot get it to start. This is the second time, third time we've tried to start it. We've had no luck. I'm gonna move the choke up just a hair. One more time just to see because nothing else has worked. The engine hasn't kicked over, nothing has happened. So now I can start to smell gas. I didn't smell it before, but I smell gas. Has, engine hasn't kicked over, nothing's happened. I'll just kick it up just a little bit more. We'll try that. Again, nothing. I can still smell gas. I'm going to kick it up just a little bit more. Again, I'm going to show where the engine's still on, Ethan. So it's still on on. I haven't changed that. So that's it. We tried this before. It won't start. I mean, how do you buy a new log splitter for $1,500 and it doesn't start? It started the first time, first day. Nothing has changed. We've tried it with the switch in a different position. We've tried everything. We took the plug out and dried it off. We took the air cleaner off and tried it. We tried to, we did everything. We looked at the owner's manual. We did everything in the owner's manual. We contacted Briggs and Stratton. We went to the website and nothing works. Again, brand new $1,500 log splitter and it won't even start. So what do you think of that?